Education of Fucking Land Education. So we are going to start right at noon. As Finnish people are known to be very punctual, so we are going to start right now. สวัสดีค่ะถ้าเกิดใครยังไม่ได้มานั่งนะคะตอนนี้เรากำลังจะเริ่มเซสชั่นการศึกษาตอนเรียนแลนด์นะคะอยากขอเรียนเชิญมาอยู่ที่เวทีชั้นหนึ่งกันได้เลยนะคะ So welcome to Finland once again and this is where we are if you are looking at the map you can see that Finland is up north it is one of the northern countries and if you fly from here from Bangkok You can take direct flight, and it's going to take you only 10 to 10 to 12 hours from Bangkok to Finland. Let's learn about some fundamental facts about Finland. So, for the people, Finland has only 5.5 million people. If you compare Finland to Thailand, we have 70 million people in our country. So, it is about 12.7 times compared to Finland. But in terms of geography, the size of Finland is pretty big. So Finland has 338k uh, square kilometers compared to Thailand. We have 500 something k kilometers square kilometers. So looking at the size, Finland has very vast space. So if you go to study in Finland, you are going to have a lot of space on your own. And this is another fun fact. Santa Claus lives in Finland. He lives all year round in Lapland. So if you go travel to Finland, you can meet him in Lapland any time of the year. And also in Lapland, there is a chance to see the Northern Light. For Thai records at Northern Light, you can have a chance to see like 200 nights per year, which is like a lot, a lot. Finland is also known to be the happiest country in the world. Finland has been ranked by the UN report, happiness report, to be the happiest country for five consecutive years. This is very serious because if you are happy for one year or two years, it can be like, okay, you are like you or you happen to be happy. But when you are ranked as the happiest country in the world for five years in a row, this is something that we can learn from them. When we talk about the happiness, um, let's see the story of happiness. Finland is known to be quite a stable country. People can trust each other. One of my friends, he went to Finland and he saw that people just leave the wallet and, and the bag in front of the toilet and go into the toilet and come back and everything is still there. So basically, you can trust people in the country and people can trust each other. Also, they care a lot about the environment. Finland is known to have the cleanest air in the world and also the freshest water in the world. So as a student, if you go to study somewhere, happiness is one of the key elements you need to think of and also the safety. Finland is known to be one of the safest country in the world as well. So as a parent, when you want to send your kids to somewhere outside Thailand, you also need to consider this factor as well. And with the nature relationship, a lot of Finnish people, like 80%, say that they have a very um, care, they, they think that um, the forest is very important for them. And that is something called every person's right in Finland. What does it mean? This is the right to give you to the free access to the forest, to the public spaces. You can just go camping for free. You can go hiking for free. And in the summertime, you can also just go and pick up the mushroom, pick up the berries. Everything is for free. So if you come from Thailand or some other countries that you have to pay to enter the national park or to pay to buy something, this is very special. Because in Finland, you can basically live for free. If you just like to hang around in the forest and come yourself there. And we are also proud to say that we are the best place to study in Europe, or at least one of the best places to study in Europe. But this is the fact as the survey also shows. 
we got 9.2 scores out of 10 um, from the international students to say that um, they are very happy to study in Finland. Some facts about the study. If you want to go to study in Finland, we have 13 and 22. We have 13 research universities in the country and 22 University of Applied Sciences, which means that you have a lot of choices to study and we have over 500 degrees and non-degrees taught in English in Finland. So, some people ask me, which language do you use in Finland? They actually use Finnish language and Swedish language as a formal language, right? But more than 90 or 95% of Finnish people, they can speak English. So there's no problem. When you want to go to study or you want to go travel, you can just use your English language to communicate.